The Commission has made significant progress towards finding the truth as far as the past actions of the liberation movements, the right wing and the old police force are concerned. But the former defence force, especially sinister structures such as special forces, military intelligence, the Department of Covert Collection and the Civil Cooperation Bureau have not been forthcoming. We know little more about their role in our past than we did three years ago. This week, the four previous Defence Force chiefs submitted a new document to the Truth Commission. It consists of 36 pages of accusations, insults and criticism of the Truth Commission. Instead of explaining their role in the past, the generals beat the Roy Gefaar drum, accuse the liberation movements of human rights violations and on top of it, demand an apology from the Truth Commission. We asked the Deputy Chairperson of the Truth Commission, Dr. Alex Burain, to respond. He either didn't read it properly, or Alex Burain is a very forgiving Christian. There are a number of uh, retired generals who have, uh, on numerous occasions, been very critical of the TRC and of myself, and have uh, alleged that we are being unfair to the old South African Defence Force, and that we've painted them in a very bad light and that they are proud of what they did and they believe that they were doing what was right for South Africa at that time under those circumstances and they feel so strongly about it that they now have gone to the uh, made a submission to the public protector now our law advisors have only just received that in the last, last day or two from uh, General Fulyun who visited us here at the TRC uh, we're studying that. Uh, I'm quite sure the public protector will contact us once he and his staff have gone through it and they will then ask us to reply to the allegations. What the final demand is going to be, I'm not sure, possibly a demand for an apology or a retraction or whatever.